Hi everybody, this is Lee from Foodie Book Club and Lee in the Sweet Life. This is uh, Lizzie from Ditchy, P Ditchy Peach Till, Peachy Digital. I wish that, that first gin in the morning is the thing that gets me actually every time. From Peachy Digital. And here is the lovely Lauren Shimin, who um, I'm going to get Lauren to um, explain all about herself right now. So Lauren, tell me about where you are, what you're doing there, and who's behind that camera. Hello, uh, I am... Alexander's Hollywood in Northern Ireland. I am the head chef here. I am with my executive, Gemma Austin, also my bestest friend. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to make a chicken and mushroom target pie that uh, we're sort of in the middle of trying to get right here for the menu on Monday, but we're, we're nearly there. So I thought, I thought I'd make it for you. Um, I think it's quite impressive. Um, tastes good, looks good, and the recipe is actually it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's not too difficult. Good. Well, I've got the recipe on leanthesweetlife.com. The recipe will be up there with instructions by the end of the day. Lauren's going to take a picture for me today and send that to me, hopefully on the phone. And I have seen pictures of this pie. And I think I sent a message and I think it was something like, yes, or yum, or basically it meant I want that in my gob right now, actually. Um, so, <laughs> so let's get on with it. And then I'll keep asking you questions as we go through, Lauren. Yes, no problem. Well, uh, the thing about this recipe is everything sort of needs to be in advance so um not so much so uh, not so much cooking today today but more assembling the pie um but i'll uh make a story anyway so i like this is the wheat chicken version we got these online and um, this is like a spring corn tin yeah i've lied like really already have and you i've got the Can can I stop you there? How, how have you prepared that tin so it doesn't stick? I know it's spring form, but what have you prepared? Have you greased it and floured it or something? These are actually non-stick uh, tins, so I didn't use anything. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of paper that I can use to do the She's going to melt the pastry, isn't it? So it's going to melt it. So I'm, oh. Yeah, I'm that. That Step one, don't get a hole in your pastry. <laughs> Said, this recipe is on my website so what Lauren, Lauren's doing is just basically assembling it for us but you'll find everything on the website so you can do this but it's always nice to see yeah. how you put things together so that they come out like they're looking chefy I like that because well, sometimes when I assemble things it doesn't work so I don't um, I don't put how long, how long would it take you to develop this, a recipe? Oh, well, you know what, I think like, it would depend how well we do it the first time. Yeah. I think it always depends on the uh, Gemma especially, um, I think I've got something right, Gemma will tell me I Gemma is the pastry hand in this kitchen. So, 
And once you've made these pies, and obviously you might not do it in the restaurant, but as a someone in a home kitchen, can I put them in the fridge before I cook them? Can I freeze them? Can I, what can I do with them? Yeah, 100%. It's actually, once you've done this, it's ideally if you kill this for another hour in the fridge, it just, yeah. um, it's just, um, it's very simple. I think if I, if I started this recipe from scratch, yeah i mean when you've got a, when you've got a, a pie this good um it's, you can I, I guess when i when i make this because obviously i'm going to have to make this pie I, i'm a, a lover of flipping pies i have to tell you so i'm thinking that i'm either going to make the, uh, this pie and just make lots of them for the freezer or make these pie and just make it like a special occasion. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be making yet. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. Uh, you can also make a bigger one. It doesn't have to just make a bigger one because it's the most food in the restaurant. Right. I just, so I just trimmed that there, baked it up a wee bit, and I'm just going to crimp it. Yeah. It's quite rough, because I'm not going to smell it. And crush it and bake it. And Oh. We've got noises happening now. Absolutely, let's see what's happening. We have Lauren has are we opening Oh, look at that beauty. It's like Blue Peter in this kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, and that, that pastry, it, you can see oh. how light that pastry is just by the, the edges, can't you? Uh, this, this pastry recipe is a really, really good pastry. Yeah. Absolutely. So it is. So next step is just to put it on top. Yeah. You can feel like a couple of times Yeah. Yeah. I have to say that the sound isn't that good on, on this at the moment. So I'm hoping that, I mean, I can hear you, but I can hear it's a bit crinkly. So I'm hoping that people can pick up on this. But um, do you know what, Lauren, watching you work, it's really interesting because I know you're slowing everything down for us, but you can just tell. How, tell me uh, how many years have you been cooking? Uh, right, well, I was actually quite lucky because I knew exactly what I wanted to do from a young age. Yeah. You know, a, lot of, a lot of people, you hear a lot of people who want to all advice by their grandmother to their mother for actually cook. Yeah. Cook my work. So it was really important for me to take over the kitchen as soon as I could reach the cooker. Yeah. So that's what I did. And I think uh, I enjoyed it. I was good at it. And I knew I wanted to do it. So as soon as I did the DTSA, and that's where I was able to check. So uh, yeah, we're 16 years. Wow. And I'm guessing that, yeah, um, so what is, do you, one day do you want to have your own rest, um, restaurant or you, you want to just sort of like keep going? And... Well, I've, I've had a job on it. I used to have the franchise of the kitchen and the bar in Dublin. Yeah. And then I had a job in Dublin and I had a job in the you should get a pay rise and actually quite frankly i don't think i think she's paying you a pittance i mean you know 
ridiculous. I have been- and when Gemma, yeah. when Gemma starts doing franchise of her restaurants that's the thing to do you see Alexander's in code two yeah I, I can make that I mean, we need to, we need to have a pretty big book we franchise my restaurants like but everything else I know <laughs> Yeah, so watch this so, space. Uh, I, think, I think having one restaurant that works is, you know, yeah, it, it's all cool at the minute. Well, I just think, I mean, right now. So, what are you? Am I? Am I right in thinking you're opening on Monday? Yes, yes. So, with uh, the whole the whole team's in, well, the whole team's in this morning with us. Um, to, to, to get ready, yeah, we're going to start getting the prep ready. So Monday we've got a bit of a dry run on Sunday night with the staff. Uh-huh. Um, and then, yeah, we're, we're, we're actually really busy for the first couple of weeks. Uh, the last week, week the just sort of doubled. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I, think we're, I think me and we're both, you know, we're nervous and apprehensive, but I think it's because we're putting so much into it, you yeah. know, that... Like I said, you know, it has, it has to be perfect, you know. Um, but with a good team and a good kitchen and, and nearly a brand new restaurant. Yeah, I, know, I, the I can't wait to see pictures of the, the inside the restaurant. The, the, a lot of people at restaurants in the UK are taking bookings and some of them are now taking deposits. Is that something that is happening in Ireland or is that something that's always happened? No, no, we have nothing like that at the minute. I mean, um, cooking was sort of the essential evening time across the board, really, yeah. you know, but um, the like the deposits and all, no, no, nothing like that at the minute. I think because in the UK they were saying that um, people who are, are stupid, I mean, you can't argue with crazy or stupid. Two or three places and then just choosing on the night, which is just appalling oh, that is horrible um things like that happen over here like mother's day and father's day you find that uh, a lot of people go a lot of different places and yeah. then you end up with 20 people not showing but um no hopefully it doesn't come to that i mean pretend that in itself is a, is a pain to deal with you know yeah but let me see that pie and then i want to ask you some questions let me see look at that oh right. I would, I, yeah, I ideally chill this again for about an hour before you put it in, but that's just ready to go. It actually looks far better than the first one. Again. <laughs> say nothing. I'm sure. saying nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll open this one up for you, maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind. Uh, no holes in that pastry. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Good, I'll, uh, I'm going to cut into it for you so you can have a little look. Oh, oh, get some, oh, oh. Go on, oh gosh, get in there, look at that. Oh my goodness. Do you know what, when you cut into that, I sort of dribbled a little bit on my chin. Strangely satisfying, isn't it? Look at that. So what are you going to serve that with um, on the menu? What's that going to be with, served with? Well, it's actually going with chicken fat mash. <gasps> um, there's a selection of veg and a wee bit of chicken, uh, chicken juice, really. That's it. That's, that's all it needs, to be honest. Can I just uh, say that I, my favourite, favourite all-time thing is chicken. Right, and I'm not supposed to speak to Lizzie because she's waiting for a phone call, but it's all time chicken. And every time I think that chicken should be in everybody's fridge cold to pick up. That's how I think. So you just you yeah. just told me my favorite dish or chicken chicken fat mash, did you say? I, that's what I said. I did. Oh, I, that's just that's just rude, isn't it? It's just rude. It's that's dirty. Okay. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah. dirty. I'm just saying, right, I'm going to ask you some questions, right? And I think the same questions I ask everybody, right? So, uh, favourite ingredients to Hello. use? What would you say? Favourite I love shellfish. 
Yeah. Solid, 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 solid in, in particular. Right. And is would you is that is sea fish your favorite thing to eat as well? You know what? Yeah, safe but if it's quicker ask me what I don't like they I really <laughs> enjoy everything that I eat. But you know, that's a good sign of a chef, isn't it? You like everything. I yeah. just do you not feel sorry for the chefs who are yeah, allergic? Totally. Yeah, there was the chef on Great British Menu, I can't remember who, who it was, was allergic to shellfish. So never ever, you know, eating. That was Gemma. <laughs> Is that you, Gemma? That was Gemma. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't see. Um, well, we're still, yeah, I'm still getting tested for it, but I, when yeah. I was on Great British the first, um, the first fish fish I ate, I reacted to. Oh. So I wasn't allowed to eat them. Yeah. I, yeah, I felt yeah. I felt so sorry for you. I was sitting here thinking, how do you do that? So literally, um, Lauren, you must have tasted all of her uh, Gemma's things when she was making those recipes. Then, well, actually, to be honest, when we when we were practicing the dishes, um, we, we didn't. We didn't. No, the ones with the sea bass. She didn't react to any of the fish and stuff, but. Um, it makes us think it's just shellfish. Yeah, most of yeah. shellfish. Yeah, I had, I was, my heart was in my, in my mouth for you because I was thinking, oh my god, it must be awful because it, 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 we don't think of chefs being allergic to or anything because I just assume chefs, of course, can, can eat anything, but it's madness, isn't it? Okay, next yeah. one. What? Yeah, food fad. What food fad are you glad's gone out the window? Right. Well, I. Just like the the charcoal food fad, you know, when you're getting like black ice cream and stuff. Oh yeah. I don't really. It's 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 near up all more. I would say I haven't I haven't seen any black black ice cream or black yogurt in a while. So. Although there's a lot of charcoal happening on the the men, Great British menu this this year, isn't there? I mean, I'm all for cooking on the charcoal, but I think when you're blitzing it up and putting it into your food, it's a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what is your it reminds me of being pregnant actually eating charcoal that's what it reminds me of <laughs> what yeah, is, yeah. what's your opinion about squidding everything oh well uh, i'm actually going to say squidding because it reminds me of the charcoal uh, yes yeah, so squid, squid squid ain't everything no but i mean if it, if it belongs on the dish i don't mind i, I like them wheat wheels you can make wheat yeah. black coral wheels they're pretty, you know, they're nice on a selfish dish, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's not, not something you look at. Right? No. It's not the most appealing thing to look at, is it? You know. Yeah, yeah, it could, yeah, it could be a bit. Yeah, black food. I think it's just black food. Yeah, it looks like something my dog yeah. eats, I think. I know. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me one top tip for a home cook, Lauren. Uh, always use your timer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these use timers, yeah, because I, I, I can't even get away with that in the kitchen, you know, I, I think if you put something in the oven, if I don't put a timer on, then it's going to never come out of the oven. Yeah. Do you have, so, do you have lots of timers in your kitchen? Yeah, no, we've got, we've got one and we've got an, an Alexa, so that's two, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a Alexa comes in handy. I think uh, actually everybody needs an Alexa in their kitchen. <laughs> Alexa in the kitchen, I like that. <laughs> then yeah. about you, but so, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I put timers on and forget what the time has gone off for. I just sort of throw that in there. That's because yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> so if it was my birthday, what would be on my birthday list, my wish list for my kitchen? A timer. <laughs> <laughs> A timer. <laughs> I'm Alexa. I'm Alexa. Alexa. Yeah. <laughs> I get sharpening things. I mean, that's always good to have because then you're going to keep your knives longer. Yeah. See, the no you know that the next question is about knives, don't you? This question. So I know Gemma lets you use her knives, but have you got a knife? I do. It's actually, I, ha I have to go back to this knife. Gemma bought me this knife for helping her with. The Great British menu, so it's very near and dear to me. It's probably like this <sighs> knife yep. that I own. Oh, it's very expensive. Wow. And I'm just gonna 
look after it forever. Oh, do you know what? I have this thing about now. This is so pretty. Look at that. I, have you seen? Oh, it's beautiful. Have you seen that um, program that um, makes knives on the television like a competition and they do this thing with the steel to make all that pattern? I've seen a wee bit of that. Yeah, I have seen a wee bit. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, my, my dad, um, he's a welder and he does that kind of stuff. Like, so he, he has a few bits around the house and stuff. Really? So, yeah. Oh, it's just a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Um, and so do you let Gemma use that? No. Oh, I love you so much. You are gorgeous. Thank you so much for doing this, Lauren. Okay, so that's Lauren. <laughs> um, it's going to be up on the website. Um, uh, um, see, I'm flustered now because I'm laughing. It's going to be on uh, leanthesweetlife.com, the recipe for that fabulous pie. She showed you put it together. It's just, it's going to be on the menu next week. I'm going to shout about it as much as possible. Look at that. And um, we're going to say thank you so much. And um, oh God, just see you next time. Okay. <laughs>